Oh my gosh, excuse me. Yep. It's the best way to start a show. <laughs> Have your microphone get stuck and burp at the same time. That's like in a script somewhere, right? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jaina Solo Says. I'm your host today, Emily, and um, no, this is not a Disney or Mickey Mouse related video. The ears would maybe tip you off. I was trying to do a modern take on the Leia buns, you know, not like steal it exactly, but like I have these things in them and my hair wasn't really even working with me. You don't care. Anyway, it's supposed to be Star Wars related. So today you're probably super excited like, oh my gosh, Emily, it's Jane Solo Says, which is Star Wars related. And your video topic today is about the Mandalorian. Yay, yay, oh my gosh. <laughs> This is actually going to be the first part of The Mandalorian Season 1. I will do a separate video for Season 2. For those who don't know, uh, The Mandalorian is a show on Disney+, Plus, a very fun show done uh, specifically through the Disney platform, and one of the first shows they actually premiered when they did their online streaming service. People were very excited because there's a lot of rabid Star Wars fans. It was taking a look at what some might perceive as a villainous character, one of the Mandalorians. Let's do our quick synopsis of the show, shall we? By the way, before we go into a lot of this, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Mandalorian. Sorry, it's kind of unavoidable in this case. So The Mandalorian Season 1 basically follows a man who's by himself who is a Mandalorian, but you find out he was adopted. He wasn't born a Mandalorian. He was actually saved as a boy when people were attacking his family and his village. It turns out to be uh, Empire or Empire affiliated men. And his parents were killed or taken away and he was saved by a Mandalorian, a soldier. You find out through this show that they have kind of an underground group of like communication and connection. But the main guy that we follow He's a bounty hunter, very simple, and he's basically just taking that job to make ends meet when he gets a job that pays a lot more than it usually does. And that, you know, triggers maybe a red flag, but he's like, you know what, I need the money. I'm not one to ask questions. I don't really have a moral compass per se, so let's do it. And he's basically supposed to go and get this package for what you find out later is, again, men from the Empire who want this package delivered. Through interfacing with a droid and some other characters, he eventually does come in contact with the parcel, but then it opens up and inside is the child. So he opens up this pod and inside is like a teeny tiny Yoda. It's not actually Yoda, obviously, but, or maybe not so obviously, who knows, you may not know that. But inside is a teeny tiny character who looks like a Yoda character, so we think is probably another one of his people. And not much is known about Yoda's background and his people. Of course, we know from the movies that he's very strong with the Force. Um, and this little creature, we come to figure out, is trying to be captured by the Empire. And we find out the reason is, I think they're gonna do tests on it. They're gonna try and figure out his like force powers or maybe use him and control him and bring him up to the dark side or be you know, a weapon for them in the end. At this point, the character doesn't have a name yet. So it's actually called the child, uh, the little Yoda guy, but everyone calls him baby Yoda. Baby Yoda, he's so cute, he's so cute, he's so cute, he's so cute. And it's basically the empire and other people chasing him because they want the guy back. Now it turns out this little guy is actually like 60 years old. So he's already like, somewhat of an adult. They live to be old apparently, but even though he's like a little baby and he's got some baby aspects, even though he's like 60, um, they must like grow really slowly because he's still kind of a, there's some aspects of him that's very childlike, but it's adorable. The Mandalorians are a people that are usually filled with, well, there's argument over who they are, but basically a lot of them are bounty hunters. Like in the original Star Wars, there was Boba Fett, who was a bounty hunter who chased after Han Solo for the bounty on his head. Um, but basically they're a very secretive people and not always like, you're not always born a Mandalorian. You can be adopted into the Mandalorian as long as you follow the way, which is kind of their religion. So change my hair. Sorry, wasn't working, was falling out. I got pigtails. Back to what we were talking about. Now, fun facts. I think this takes place between four, no. 
between six and seven. I think this takes place between six and seven. I'll have to double check that because I'm not sure. Eeh. I don't know about you guys, but I was very excited to be like, man, the Lauren, oh my gosh, he's a cool character. And the actor you don't even see because he's wearing the full helmet and then the mask and all this stuff. And you never get to see what he looks like, right? So I don't know about you, but as I'm watching, I'm like, I hope he has to take off the mask. Now in the Mandalorian credo, to be a Mandalorian, no one can ever see you take off your mask. So if you do need to take it off, which sometimes they do, you know, whatever, no one can see you. If someone sees your face, then you are no longer a Mandalorian. That's really strict. I mean, I don't understand exactly why, except maybe to protect their identity in case, since they're such a secret to people and they're always in danger of being wiped out. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But it's, you do get to see his face at one point. So that's kind of cool. For me, it didn't even match what I thought he was going to look like. So it was very interesting that kind of juxtaposition of what I thought he was because you don't see his face right away. It's quite a ways into the first season. But when you finally see it, you're like, oh. And I believe that actor is the same actor who just played the evil guy in the new Wonder Woman movie. And he did awesome in that too. So that actor is just like, just here's your awards. Here's your awards. Great show, well done, well cast, well written, well acted, scenes, like everything, costumes, um, writing, everything's immaculate. So go see it, you won't be sorry. I believe there's eight episodes in the first season. My guess is there'll probably be eight in the second, but I could be incorrect. So far, the gambit of people who have liked the show have been all over the map. So it's pretty much good for everybody, like younger to older, male to female. So would Jaina still recommend this, you might ask. If you haven't guessed by now, yeah, yeah, I would. So go see it. Hopefully we'll see you next time. And of course, may the force be with you, always.